Hey guys, welcome back to Let Code. So in our previous video, we discussed how to convert the JS page object model files into the TypeScript files. Now we are going to learn how to call those functions, the page object model functions in our test script. Okay. So I hope you already remember the JavaScript page object model test where we have discussed like how to write uh, each and every test cases in each and every it block, right? So let's I'm just going to convert those files. So if you have missed that, I will definitely recommend you to watch my JavaScript page object model, the six videos I believe, and then watch this videos. Okay. So let's go back and here we have converted all the things, all the page object models into the TypeScript, right? So similarly, we are going to copy this. So here we have our spec file, technically the JavaScript file. Now we are going to convert this into a TypeScript. So I'm just going to copy paste the folder and I'm going to re rename this as test-ts just for your understanding, right? That's it. Now within this, let's go back and we have two specs technically. One is the sign in and another one is the sign up. So we are going to convert all the stuff, right? So first of all, we are going to remove all this import statement. We don't want this because the syntax is going to change in a bit. And um, um, yeah, that's it pretty fine, right? Now, first of all, we'll just rename this file into ts. And then you can see the beauty of the TypeScript. It's going to throw us error, right? So here you can see this straight away. It's giving us error like what, what this TypeScript is not able to understand. And that is how TypeScript really help us, right? Now similarly go back to this one and we are going to change this file as ts as well and uh, within this uh, it's suggesting us to change this to the require statement but since our uh, folder structure is changed we are going to remove this and we are going to add this stuff again right so i'm just going to remove this as well it can be here not a problem so first uh, we'll import this browser so add all missing imports and you can see that this has imported the browser from the protector, right? And after that, we have this header. So header is basically the header class, right? So here we can say like, uh, directly we can create an object actually. So here I can say like const, and I can say like header equal to new, the header class. And that is actually coming from this uh, TypeScript, right? So here you can see we are getting this from TypeScript. And this one is from your JavaScript, I believe. So let's go with this one, header. And that's it. So here we can see that the header problem is solved. So if I click control click on this, it's going to take me to the TypeScript file where the class name is header, right? Very simple. Now let me close all this and let's go back to the sign up sign in spec. And um, so okay, we are on the sign up spec. So here, yeah. So now we want the sign up object as well. So here let's create so const sign up equal to new and followed by the sign up right so sign up and here in the right hand side you can see that it's actually coming from pages hyphen ts so that is the correct one so we can create an object for that class okay so we got this uh thing as well now we have this common right so valid toast so what is common basically the common class that we created so here i can say again like uh const common equal to new then followed by the same common class right so common yeah that's it right so you can check the import statement here import and within the bracket we can say the class name and we can specify what is the file don't include the file extension that is not needed in the typescript we can just say like the file name that's pretty much enough right so that's it we are done with our typescript file and we have no errors as of now right now here uh, this is your json File, right so we are passing the test data from the json so if i mouse on this you can see it's not giving us any suggestions like what is the name we have declared or what is the data type of the json but typescript when i convert this into typescript using the import so i can just uh, change the convert uh, require to import right now here you can see that we are able to see the actual data so name equal to go check the sign up and within this whatever the object we have right so we can use like this that's pretty much fine or else I can also say like import star as right so as is like you are giving some allies name to that technically both are same we can use in any way so star means I am trying to import all the data from my JSON file right now just in case if you are not getting any suggestion probably you have missed the TS config uh, things right so in the TS config we have to say like resolve JSON model if not 
that is if that is in true i mean false then probably you won't get any suggestions right so if i mouse on this you can see we are able to get all the suggestions that's the that's the beauty of typescript and um, yeah that's it right now let's go back to our sign up spec i mean sign in spec and here also we are going to convert so first uh, we are going to import the browser so let's control dot and you can say like add all sync imports that's going to add this browser uh, from the protector and here we have to get the headers i'm just going to copy a uh, few of the things header and this one from here and we can paste it here and of course control dot and you can say like add all missing imports that's it now what we have we have the sign in so let's create an object for that as well so const sign in equal to uh, new and then followed by sign in and that should come from our pages dot hyphen ts right so you can see sign is coming from page hyphen ts very cool right now let's go back and here it says that this data is not defined because of course we have it defined so let's uh, do the import so we can just copy this one and paste over here that's it so we have fixed now as well right so here you can see that um this data password is this one this one uh invalid email something we are able to get this right so we have sign up spec as well as sign up sign in spec just to show you within the described block we are um doing this before all before each and every it block and before each and every it block we are trying to load this url right now instead of this local host i am going to change this to uh let go dot in okay so let go dot in and the same here as well right now do we need to hard core our uh, user data or the url within the file with the script not necessary we'll see that in the next video how we can manage a file to hold the environment right for example in your uh, qa you might have like environment one two three qa one two three like that so based on the environment or the um, the technical environment right so based on that we can uh, switch our test script without changing much so we can just change the we can point the environment using some file we'll see that in the next video okay okay so the script is already working so we have discussed about the script in the javascript page object model now we just convert it into typescript uh, typescript and it's very easy right so let's go back and try to run this so we have this protector.conf.js and within this uh, let me remove this one and here I'm going to specify both the script, right? So right click, copy relative path, and you can paste here within single or double quotes and change this slash to this slash. Okay, the forward slash. Similarly, I can copy the relative path of this one and comma, and here I can paste the value. And of course, I have to change the slash, right? So we have framework called Jasmine, the red current, that means we don't use the rename grid. All this random server configurations and this are our spec and promise manager false because of course we are using the ac current of it and jasmine node options we are using the default time mode for 60 seconds right now you might ask me because all the files you have converted js into typescript but the configuration file is in till is in javascript why the reason is very simple we already discussed about this in in our so many videos that TypeScript cannot run of its own. TypeScript internally converts everything into JavaScript and from the JavaScript only the execution starts. So in terms of TypeScript configuration file, of course we can create a TS file for the config that will give you some suggestions like the code suggestions and all the stuff but eventually it will also get converted into the JavaScript. So instead of doing all the stuff, we can write the config file alone directly into the JavaScript file. I hope that makes sense to you, right? Now let's see how to run this. I'm just going to open up my terminal using the control J and here I'm going to select protector. And then for by protector.conf.js. But actually it's not going to work. Let me show you the reason as well. So here you can see that the browser is going to get launched and that's it. Now we are getting some exception. It says that import is not diagnosed. Because I said that TypeScript works on the import and JavaScript doesn't work on the import and that's creating the problem here, right? So to solve this, 
we have discussed about the TS config in detail, right? So if you miss that video, probably I will leave a link uh, somewhere here. You can check that. Okay. So uh, first we have to convert all those files into a JavaScript file, right? So how do we do that? It's very simple. We no need to write again the TSC command or TSC watch command to convert or to dance, compile all the stuff. We can use the TS node, right? So that is why we use this uh, TS node, right? So types node and this ts node to do that stuff now for that we have to add few commands like this one okay so i will explain this so here we can say like on prepare on prepare is basically uh, like your whenever the script the config file config file is going to execute the statement is going to run first right and here we are saying that we need the ts node and we are going to do some registration and i mean register and then we are Getting the path of the TS config file that is in my root of my project folder. Always make sure TS config should be always in the root folder, right? Now, within the config file, we have discussed about this in detail. So, don't um, please watch that video first. Okay, don't expect me to repeat again. Sorry for that. But I think you should watch that video first. Okay, now uh, let's go back to our terminal. And let's use the same command that is protector and then protector.conf.js again. Now, this time, of course, it's going to execute, and of course, we'll see some of the console error. I mean, console reports. We didn't use any of the reporting, so that's fine, I think. So, you can see that login is going to happen. And welcome, Koshik. We got some message, and then it's going to start with another test script where it should uh, do the sign in, I think. And okay, it's doing some validations, so that's fine. But you can see that the code is exec executing successfully, is in the TypeScript. And TypeScript will definitely help you to uh, get the static data type. So, in the compile time itself, it will tell you like what you can do, what you cannot do, all those stuff. Okay, so that's the beauty of TypeScript. I think it's going to run for a few of the data, so let's not worry about that. And we are interested to see whether it's going to run or not. That's the only motive of this. Maybe there might be some failure because of I have changed a lot in the UI as well as in the use cases. So there might be failure, but that's not our problem. We are just learning how to run the script. I think you got the idea. Okay, so there is one failure, I believe. Uh, that's okay, absolutely fine. So our test script got completed and here you can see that uh, we got the output as well. So here we can see that we have only one failure. So 7 spec totally run where we have one failure here. And why it got failure? Because of some element is not visible of the stuff. So that's absolutely fine. So we can know that. Uh, that's fine, right? So that's it. Let's have a quick recap. So what, what we have done is basically we have converted our page of model test file to the TypeScript page of this model. And within that first, we removed all our import statement, I mean the request statement, and instead of that, we used our import statement. And rest of the things are very same. So if you go within this entire email, you can see that here we have clear and type that is coming from our protector base, where it's going to wait for the element to be visible, and then it's going to do the clear action, and then it's going to type that data. Now we are passing the data from our test data uh, that is JSON file. So of course it's a data driven framework as well. So if you are getting your data from outside of your class, that's what data driven technically means, right? So it, of course it's a data driven framework. And then uh, rest of the things are very same. So we did the same thing for all our classes. And what we have 
extra thing is this protected font figure where within this on prepare we have used this TypeScript, I mean DS node to convert the TypeScript files into the JavaScript and from there it's going to export, right? So that's it for the video. I hope you have enjoyed the video and you learned how to use the TypeScript in base of the model as well as the framework as well as the data driven using the JSON file. Okay. So in the next video, we also see like uh, what is the failure and why that failed using our reports, Allure reports basically, right? And uh, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, do let me know in the comments and give a like. That will definitely help me to bring more videos uh, in our channel. And I'm expecting at least 20 likes for this video. Probably you guys can do that, I think, right? So see you in the next one, please.